the word defibrillator for today, where we are going to kickstart our day with a word from within the word. So we could have heard it before, but today, what is God trying to say through that? And um, it's nice to know that faith is what actually gets us there. And the scripture for seeing that God would justify us. So this is Galatians 3.8 from the Amplified Version, the classic version. And the scripture for seeing that God would justify, declare righteous, put in right standing with himself, the Gentiles, in consequence of faith. So how nice is that? Because of faith, everybody is included and has access to the gospel. Proclaimed the gospel for telling the glad tidings of a Savior long beforehand to Abraham in the promise saying, In you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. That amazing thing called faith. So then, those who are people of faith are blessed and made happy and favored by God as partners in fellowship with the believing and trusting Abraham. So then those who are people of faith are blessed and made happy and favored by God as partners in fellowship with the believing and trusting Abraham. So because of who we are and in Christ, we partners with Abraham and all the promises that were to him. And all who depend on the law, who are seeking to be justified by obedience to the law of rituals, are under a curse. Uh, so here we are. This is great. This is fantastic. Through faith it is all yours. But how many people do you know, or you might even be that person, that you follow the letter of the law to the T? Like Job. Job had this mindset that if I follow A, B, C, then God has to deliver. He's compelled to deliver. So I am holding him ransom to his word. Now, following the word is a good thing. But using it to hold God in ransom? So God put Job in a situation where we are to worship God by faith, not by the law. And as he said at, at the end of his ordeal, God said to him, so who is your dad? Just paraphrasing, who is your daddy? And that's a question for you today. And do you do it out of relationship or are you doing it out of fear? Because that's what he did. He followed God. God out of fear, with the fear, if I don't get the scriptures right, God's not going to love me. And God's like, you, you all fall short of that. And all who depend on the law, who are seeking to be justified by obedience to the law of rituals, are under a curse and doomed to disappointment and destruction. For it is written in the scriptures, cursed, a curse devoted to destruction, doomed to eternal punishment, be everyone who you to abide, live, and remain by all the precepts. Ha! Huh, this is scary stuff. By all the precepts and commands written in the book of the law and to practice them. Now it is evident that no person is justified, declared righteous, and brought into right standing with God through the law. For the scripture says... The man in right standing with God, the scripture says that the man within right standing with God, the just, the righteous, shall live by and out of faith. And he who through, the, uh, he who through and by faith is declared righteous and in right standing with God shall live. Come on, it can't be just, I mean, if, if I'm following the scripture and I'm obeying every letter of the word, how can it, well, it's going to lead to destruction. It is. And huge disappointment. Because we're going to make mistakes. And we're going to fall short of the glory of God. It's only through his grace and mercy and by faith, understanding and receiving that, that we are truly set free. Now it is evident, verse 11 again, Galatians 3.11. Now it is evident that no person is justified, declared righteous, and brought into right standing with God through the law. For the scripture says, the man in right standing with God, the just, the righteous, shall, shall live by faith, well, by and out of faith. And he, through and by faith, is declared righteous and in right standing with God, shall live. But the Lord does not rest on faith, does not require faith, has nothing to do with faith. For it itself 
says, He who does them, the things prescribed by the law, shall live by them, not by faith. Christ purchased our freedom, redeemed us from the curse and doom of the law, and it is uh, and is condemnation by himself becoming a curse for us. For it is written in scriptures. Ha, ah, this is powerful stuff, guys. Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. To the end that through their receiving Christ Jesus, the blessings promised to Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, so that we through faith might all receive the realization of the promise of the Holy Spirit. Come on, guys, it's all out of faith. It's all out of faith. Our having sonship and daughtership in the kingdom comes to and comes through Jesus Christ himself. And it's by faith we receive it. There's nothing that you and I can do other than to accept it, to receive it, and walk in it by faith. It's a gift. It's a something that we put our hands out and we receive it. We take it and we walk in it. How nice is that? Put it into use, your faith. We heard it this morning, what an amazing testimony of saying, yeah, you know what, God, even though I don't have the money, I'm going for it. I'm going to go as far as this can take me. And when I get there, I'm going to trust from there on you will provide. How amazing is that? Heavenly Father, amazing. Life-changing. A heavy reminder that there are these amazing promises that were given to Abraham that were yes and amen. And through faith, we share in those promises. We are in that, and part of that, partnership. Lord, those promises are big. This is massive. It's not play-play. It's not just there for our lives. It's there for us all. Ah, what a nice revelation, Father, that we have the honor and the privilege of being able to say that word, Father, and Lord Jesus, our King, thanks for what you have done for us. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you continue to guide us this day, that you minister to us, you give us the revelations of the Father and our relationship with him, that we have this aha moment of the understanding that, oh my gosh, I am a child. He is my Father. That brings us to a place of an unwillingness to offend and a wanting to serve. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.